Damn! And, and another thing, we had to come up here with the lighting because you just had to see this in the light. It's your boy B Gunner. We're back in the labyrinth again for more jabber. Now, let's do a safety check. Safety oh. check. Open the cylinder. She is clear. Bang! We have an empty glass. That's a problem. What are you sipping on, B? What are you sipping on? We know you're sipping. What are you sipping on? Here we go, baby. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, friends. Here we are. B Gunner, we're back in a new location, as you can see. Love it. Listen, I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good today. It's been a little bit. Listen, I'm taking this thing to the next level. We're doing, we're doing different things. We're always doing different things. I know it's been a little bit. Gotta keep you hungry. Gotta keep you hungry. Gotta keep you thirsty. Can't be feeding you and, you know, beveraging you up too much. Getting you all comfortable. No, we can't do that. We gotta leave you hungry a little bit. So here we go. We're gonna jump right into this. We're gonna try to keep these freaking videos as short as humanly possible. Can't be doing these 30 minute videos anymore. It is getting crazy. Thank you to all the people that really love them. Um, thank you to all the people that constantly watch my videos but never like them. Thank you so much. You just, you know, honest to God, you just make me feel so good about myself and know that you're hating. As long as I know that there's hate, man, that, that's a really good feeling. But I also love the people unconditionally that do love and support and do like and do share and, and really get a kick out of what's going on here over on this channel because all we're doing is we're having fun, we're being ourselves, we're sipping, we're gripping gats, we're showing you guns, we're talking crap, you know, we're just, uh, we're, we're, we're doing what we want to do here on this channel and nobody is going to tell us different, okay? We're doing what we want to do. That being said, let me tell you something. I got, a, I got a brew for you today. I got a brew, sipping a brew. All right? And this is a brew to me that, okay, if you're like collecting beers or like you drink a lot or whatever, and you don't once in a while either buy or have this beer on tap at all times, you're a little crazy. Okay, so what we got here today is we got a Belgian white from Shock Top. This, to me, is an absolute staple in your beer collection. You know, it's a commercial Belgium white, but it's slamming. I, I love Shock Top, personally. You know what I'm saying? I actually uh, have, have one poured here. Uh, thank you for the Copperhead Grill, courtesy of this glass. They, they give me gla uh, pint glasses. Mysteriously, I walk out with pint glasses every time I go to the Copperhead or wherever I go for that matter. So, thank you to them. Cheers. I'll tell you what though, again, absolute staple in your beer collection, nothing crazy, Belgian white, awesome, clean, crisp taste, I like it with an orange, don't have any at the crib right now, but uh, if I did, I would have I sliced a fresh orange, and, and I should have did that for the video, but hey, guess what, things aren't perfect, and yo, I am so happy to be bringing you this pistol today. I can hardly contain myself. Okay. This pistol is also an absolute staple in any gun man's collection. If you are a gun enthusiast, a gun guy in any way, or just someone that's looking for an absolute beast, awesome, full-size service weapon, here you go, baby. Boom! The Beretta 92F. Not the FS. We're going to get into that. Okay? Safety check. Mag out. Clear. Nothing in the chamber. She's clear. Nothing. Okay? Check out that open slide design. One of my favorite things about this gun, we'll also get into that just a little bit, but check this out. 
We're gonna get into all the little design features here too as quickly as possible because I'm trying to keep this short, but look at this gun. The Beretta 92F, not the FS. What's the difference, B? What's the difference, B, between the 92F and the 92FS? Got your facts for you, Chief. Got them. The 92F was the first model, um, Beretta 92, that came out for civilians. It's actually an M9. The Beretta M9 was the military version of this pistol for the military when they when they adopted this pistol in 1985. By the way, this was designed in 1972. Production started in 75 and the military adopted it in 1985. Mhm. Mm 33 years of service. Thank you, Beretta. I am an absolute mathematician. It is crazy the things that I know. It's, it's wild. Not really. Okay, but we're going to keep this rolling. This is an M9. The Beretta M9 was the military version. And all that really meant was that it said Beretta M9 on the slide for the model. Model 9. Beretta. Okay? But only the... From what I understand, only the service weapons had the M9 um, roll marks on the sides of the guns. The civilian versions were 92F. That's Those were ours, and that's what this is. This is the exact same gun that was adopted in 85 by the military, the exact same model, uh, except the roll marks are different. This says 92F, and the military said m9 that is it but uh yeah so this particular one is cool then they came out with the fs the beretta 92 fs which was the almost identical it was physically identical uh version of this pistol because they from what i understand as well were having some issues with this gun the slide was cracking Okay, after up teen, however many, the freaking round count. Okay, the slide was cracking. All right, and so Beretta went ahead and fixed some issues. They made some uh, adjustments to the slide. They made some adjust adjustments to the locking block. Uh, it may be a couple of others. Again, do not quote me on any of this stuff. This is, this is just... This is knowledge that I have acquired, or I think it's knowledge, because maybe it's not even 100% accurate, but I think it's pretty damn accurate. Please comment in the, uh, in the comments and let me know just how bad that I'm doing, but I think I'm pretty pretty darn accurate with this stuff. Uh, and I'm, I'm not going to get into total specifics, because again, I'm not an expert. Okay, We've been down this road, I'm not an expert, I'm not an engineer, I'm not a gun engineer, I'm not a firearms expert, we're not doing any of that. We're just talking simply about how cool these guns are. And I'll give you a little bit of what I know, which is just a little bit, okay? But uh, again, yes, this gun. All right, let's get into the features a little bit. Man, there's so much I like about this gun, but there's I'm going to tell you what I don't like about it. Right off the bat, obviously, all right, first, let's, let's start off positive. Look at how gorgeous this is. Look at how good looking this gun is. It is just absolutely gorgeous, okay? Original rosewood grips. These these grips are so freaking nice and perfect. I actually thought that they were laminate. I'm like, whoa, what's, what's this awesome gun doing with laminate grips? They're not. It's original, beautiful rosewood. This it's phenomenal, phenomenal uh, grips on here. It's just a really, really good looking gun. Uh, I love, I absolutely love, like I said earlier, the the open top design there. You can see the, the entire barrel. The whole top of the slide, I'd say, I'd say three quarters of the slide here is wide open, uh, which really, really helps in reliability. You don't get the stove pipes, you don't get the failures to feeds, you don't get the failures to ejects, you don't get any of these failures with this gun. It's so reliable. Uh, one of the huge reasons why the military adopted it in '85. Uh, it's just, it's utterly, utterly reliable, and I think that design looks really cool. 
Uh, there's nothing like it. There hasn't been since, and uh, it's really, really cool. And I'll tell you what, the action on this gun, the action, it is like smooth as glass. I just love it. The machining, the fit, the finish on this gun is exquisite. Okay, enough gloating and drooling over it. Let's talk about some, some negatives that I don't like about it. Ugh, man, I'll tell you, my biggest thing, my biggest two things with this gun are that it's <clears throat> a double, two single action trigger pull and this darn safety and decocker. Let's talk about this a little bit. Okay, so this is a ambidextrous safety and decocker. So you see it moving there. I'm actually flicking it on the other side with my thumb. It's ambidextrous. That means it's on both sides of the gun. Fully ambidextrous, okay? I can't stand this right here, okay? And I'll, and I'll show you why. So, okay, the gun is off safety. Let's just hypothetically say we have a full magazine, which we do not and we will not, okay? We do not have any ammunition around when we're sipping. We just don't do that here on this channel. We're not going to condone that. We don't do this here. All right, so let's just put our hypothetical mag in. Boom. Okay, it's off safety. We load one in the chamber, right? Now, hypothetically, there's one in the chamber. There's not, okay? But let's just say that there is. The only way to carry this gun is decocked. So this safety is also a decocker. So if I hit the safety downward, it's gonna lower, <clears throat> excuse me, it's gonna lower the hammer without firing the weapon. Okay, All, that's a cool feature. It is uh, for the for the guns with hammers. So I'm gonna decock this. The gun is not going to fire. That is safely decocking the weapon without it going off. Okay. So this is how you would carry this gun. You would holster it right now. So, okay. I'd pull this out of my holster and have to flick this safety up. Now, here's where it gets stupid. I'm okay with that safety flicking up. I do the same thing with my 1911s, except on the 1911, you flick it down, okay? On this, you have to flick it up. It's a little bit more awkward, but with a little bit of training, you can get this down as good as anything else, okay? Here's what I don't like. Okay, pull it out of your holster. Flick the safety up. You're ready to rock and roll. Your first shot is double action. And every single shot after that is single action. I just don't like that for, for me. Because this first pull is double action. And it is so long and heavy. It's over 12 pounds. I would imagine 13 pounds, 14, something around there. Your first pull is fully double action. Look it. Okay, double action again. We've been down through this. We've been through this in my videos. Two actions. Hammer back one. Hammer forward two actions. Okay. Hammer goes back one action. Forward another action. Double action. Okay. Boom. Gun goes off. Slide slings back. Loads your next round in the chamber. Hammer's back now. Every shot from here on out is single action. Bang. Bang. That's what I like. Single action pull on this gun is phenomenal. Okay, don't get that don't get that messed up. The single action pull on this gun is awesome. It's just I don't like the the idea of holstering it with the hammer down and then having to pull out, flick the safety up, and boom, boom. You know, the first shot's double action. I like all my shots consistent. I like my trigger pulls consistent. Uh that's just the way I like them. I like my carry guns, okay? This is a this is perfect for the range. It's a non-issue at the range, non-issue. I'm saying if you were to carry it in service or something like that. For me, it would just take an extra few steps of training, that's all. That's it, that's all I'm saying. It would just take a little bit more training. You're just as good with this as anything else with training. It's all about training, okay? Hold on a second. I'm thirsty, man. I mean, I'm really thirsty. I'm feeling good today. Feeling good today. I'm so happy to be bringing this to you. Happy to be bringing you a shock top, man. I'm really excited. This firearm is an absolute staple in your gun collection. 
please. You know, I still actually have to uh, acquire one. And you know what? I'm really hoping that my boy allows me to possibly acquire this one day. I know this is like his baby, and I wish that I could shout him out right now, but I just can't say his name on camera right now. But thank you. You know who you are for hooking me up with the Breda, donating it to the channel temporarily for a video. I really appreciate it. That's, that's awesome. Thank you very much. Always appreciate it. The friends at Lone Guns. Ah, uh, man, I'll tell you, service weapon, awesome, beautiful, double to single action, not so much. It's just, this is, this is an absolute jam, absolute jam, baby. The Beretta 92F, those are my impressions on it. Love it or hate it, I love you guys. Uh, I don't hate you guys at all, love you guys, love all you guys. Keep it coming. Um, I'm going to keep it coming. We're doing big things. We're taking this to the next level, uh, as you can see here. Um, we're doing a lot of different stuff. I got a lot of a lot of really cool stuff coming uh, in the fall, and it, this winter is going to be a, a really good, great season for B Gunner and, and the channel. So stay tuned. Uh, stay loving it. And I'm going to be steady bringing you gas like this. Trust and believe me. Love you guys.